Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. We're going to get into week one here starting Sunday as the Pittsburgh Steelers will take on the Cincinnati Bengals. All eyes and focus and attention will be on Mitch Trubisky, and I promise mine will be the same. But one last time before we see him, who knows, next, I want to talk about Kenny Pickett and his really strong preseason, his progression. And what I liked most about Kenny Pickett was his anticipation and his ability to throw guys open, to process, to feel the rush. I think above all else, and there was a lot that impressed me with Kenny Pickett this summer, but I think his anticipatory nature topped them all. Here's four examples of what I mean. And I might have talked about some of these before. You may have seen some of these before, but with the preseason totally in the rear view mirror, I think it's good to go back and look at things as a as a collective. So this is the game winning touchdown in his first NFL game in the preseason opener versus Seattle. And again, just really good anticipation. You know, there's the old college open adage of throw it when the guy is visibly open in the NFL, that stuff is not going to fly. You have to throw in a tight windows and you have to anticipate when guys will be open. So pre-snap read here, Pickett talked about it after the game, used the phrase free access, the cornerback playing off here with this potential three deep cover three look here on the snap of the football and see when that ball comes out. I'm going to run it back just a little bit to really time this up well, because you're going to see Pickett throw that ball before Tyler Vaughn's here is out of his break. So right here, Vaughn's is just coming out of his break. His head's not around. You know, Pickett isn't waiting for Vaughn's to get his head around and see the ball in the whole way uh, through. He's going to throw it early so this cornerback can't drive and make a play on the football. And it also gives Vaughn's the opportunity here to get some yak and turn it into the game-winning touchdown. So the pre-snap read here is really, you know, the difference here, seeing the cornerback playing off, knowing you're going to run the out route here, but then timing this one before Vaughn's is even really through his break, that ball coming out, and so by the time he catches it, instead of that corner being there to play the football or make an immediate tackle, that's going to give the receiver, Vaughn's here, the chance to turn up field and get into the end zone. So a really good anticipation throw by Kenny Pickett on a big stage late in the game in his first NFL action. Of all the plays that Kenny Pickett made this summer, I think this was my favorite one of them all. Late first half completion to Pat Fryermuth running down the left seam against pressure. There's so many great elements of this play I want to show you guys. I'll run this whole thing through first, but I want to kind of break this one down. And again, the anticipation here is, is kind of the central theme of this video. Throwing a guy open, seeing the zone coverage, knowing Fryermuth's running down the seam. He's going to get open once he, you know runs down the seam and gets past this linebacker window underneath, but then throwing to that open spot with good touch, with good accuracy, under pressure. There's so many good things working here for Kenny Pickett. So to run this one back, again, when Pickett releases the ball, Frymuth has yet to really clear the linebacker. There's the pressure. There's the throw. But again, three deep shell with pressure, three under, three deep. There's going to be that uh, middle of the field open. But also Pickett not leading Fryer move too far where he gets into the safety and gets you know in, into a collision that way. So typically against what you would call this middle of the middle of the field closed coverage where there's a single high safety in the middle of the field, that's a tough throw to make. But because this free safety is so deep and the throw is so good where it's not leading Fryer move too far downfield, there's a window there available. But again, the anticipation. Frymuth not open as Pickett threw it, but threw to where Frymuth was going, not where he was at, and that in turn throws him open. If we look at it from the end zone view, we'll see the pressure here. So the other element of that is making a really strong anticipatory throw under a lot of pressure here. And that linebacker coming downhill right in his face and and Pickett able to make that that good strong throw with touch and accuracy and anticipation. So love this rep overall from Kenny Pickett. This play did not count. It came later in that drive against Jacksonville after the Frymuth completion. There were offsetting penal penalties here that negated this one, but I really like this play as well that may have been forgotten because it ultimately did not stand. Uh, two elements to look on this play here. The, again, anticipation of throwing Deontay Johnson open. Good ball placement overall. That ball coming out before Johnson has made his break. 
knowing there's going to be some space there with just the safety um, on the opposite hash in terms of where uh, Johnson was at, the safety on the right hash, Johnson on the, on, on the left side on this play. And so we're going to see him make a really strong anticipatory throw with, I think the placement could have been a bit better to lead Deontay Johnson. Um, but again, just being able to recognize that's going to become open and let your receiver make a play. So again, throwing this pass before Johnson's really made his break on this deeper in cut and then letting your guy go make a play and Johnson does. The other element I like here is the pocket presence and that pocket movement. And we talk so much about quarterback mobility and guys who scramble and guys who can extend the play. And that's important. And that's certainly become a heavier emphasis in today's modern NFL. But I still think movement within the pocket is still more important than movement outside the pocket. And you're going to see what happens here, the penalties where the, the right DN jumps off sides on this play. I think Pickett kind of sees that and feels that here off the snap. And so instead of just dropping straight back, you see him slide to his right just a little bit here. And ultimately, that may have given him enough time to avoid a would-be sack, although Dan Moore holds because the guy jumped off sides. They both get called for penalties here. Again, putting all that aside. But you kind of, I, I, I'm pretty sure that Pickett felt that DN jump early. And so he slid to his right a little bit to try to buy more time to make this throw. It's it's pretty subtle, but you see him move, and that's typically not the drop back that he would take. Usually it'd be more just a straight back drop back out of the gun. And so you see him drift a little bit in, in, in anticipation of, hey, this DN jumped, he moved. I want to try to give myself an extra half second to get this pass off. And that's the part I probably like more of the throw. It, it could have been maybe a bit better. I think it's a good throw overall. There's probably some critique there, but that uh, pocket movement there, feeling, anticipating, that's the word here, anticipating that pressure to then make a good throw overall that gets you in the end zone. That's a really high-level play. And finally, in the Lions preseason finale, this one, maybe not as high level. It's a pretty common back shoulder throw. But again, just reading coverage, being on the same page as his receiver, and just making a good throw before a receiver comes out of his break and before the cornerback really can react to it. So you're going to get the cornerback here on the bottom, tight press man coverage overall. And basically the idea here is there's generally a sight adjustment the receiver and the quarterback can make. If the receiver can beat the cornerback off the line of scrimmage, he's going to run vertical and they're going to throw the go ball, the nine route. If he can't do that, if the cornerback's off or the receiver can't you know, be able to stack and get on top of that cornerback, they're going to break this route off to a back shoulder play or a comeback or just depending on what the actual call is. Here, it's this back shoulder throw. And so Pickett anticipating Vaughn's not stacking the cornerback on this play. Let's throw back shoulder instead. And because there's a man turn here, cornerback has no eyes on the ball. He's late to react to this one. It's an incredibly tough situation for the cornerback to be in. So to take it back to the start, just watch as Pickett releases the football here. I mean, they're even right now, and you're just kind of anticipating and hoping that Vaughn's has the same uh, thought process and is, is adjusting the same way that Pickett is here, but just a good, strong, accurate back shoulder throw, reading the coverage, anticipating what the receiver's going to do, both guys being on the same page, that chemistry, you know, the, the football IQ, really important here, and it's a really good completion overall. So and that's not quite anticipation in some of the other examples that we showed you guys but it's still a really good rep there from Kenny Pickett and ultimately a well-thrown football that results in a, in a pretty good game. So just wanted to share that video on Kenny Pickett, the anticipation, the accuracy, the ball placement, all things that improved, all things that got him drafted and just really led to a, a strong summer overall. And I'm happy he's at least a number two personally, and this may sound a little hot takey here, I'd be comfortable starting him week one against the Bengals. Obviously, that's not happening. I can live with that as well. I'm not going to gripe about it too much, but Pickett to me is a guy that I want to see what he can do in a regular season game. There'll be some good games, be some bad games, but I think he's ready, and that's all that ultimately matters in my opinion. But putting that uh, soapbox aside, Pickett's anticipation, both as a, as a passer and his accuracy and some of that pocket movement, really happy to see. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Have a lot of content coming for you guys before and, of course, after the Bengals game as well. Let me know in the comments below. Actually, I'll save that for the next video. I'll do a, a Steelers-Bengals preview probably sometime Saturday where I'll ask you guys to pick the uh, the winner of that game 
But anyway, let me know your thoughts on Kenny Pickett and this video in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll talk to you soon.